Hi, y'all. Hello. Hey. How are we tonight? Mm -hmm. Have a lot of new people tonight. We do. Hi, Martha. We might. Hi, Painted Treasures. Hi, Patina. Jim Bob. It's Patina. Oh, pin oh sorry. You know how you Patina. like that, Patina? <laughs> Patina Treasures. Sorry. You always say Painted I Treasures? I think so. I think I, d I did. You see the I all the way over here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I put in there what I want. I see the PA and think I'm painted. <laughs> and I see my sister's here early. It's Ooh. Jim. No, it's Jim. That's Lisa Jim. No. Lisa Jim. So there's, hi, uh, Nikki, Black Dog Vintage. Um, no. Hey, Roxana. Deanna, hey. Deanna. I always say Deanna too. See there? I just add I add letter, letters to everybody's name. Hi, Christy. Hey y'all. Hey Lena. Hey Lena. Hey Susan. Canadian Chris. <laughs> hey Christina. Christy Champ. You got you got your trigger all greased up, Christy? So you can pull that trigger faster. <laughs> and high vintage treasures. I mean, I'm biking, biking. treasures, <laughs> um, which is, I think, John. That's probably John. Yeah, y'all had me confused uh, this past weekend. I that, swore I put one name in and it printed out a different name. That was so fun. Was really, watch. that was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, what did I do? And they paid it. Oh my God, what did I do? <laughs> that was fun to watch. All the confusion. <laughs> So do y'all hear us okay? I think so. You think so? You're right here beside me. Well, of course you hear no, me okay. No, but Christy's answering my question, yes. Okay. So, yep, that's John. <laughs> John the Viking. <sighs> Look, my sister's already saying hello to my to my friends. She's she, friends with my friends now. Because she needs friends. <laughs> Hi, Harry. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Harry. We The Astros played early today, so we don't have to go watch them after this. Yeah, we can stay and chat after if y'all want. <laughs> As if nothing else is going on after this. It's up to y'all. If you get a chance, uh, like. We got 22 watching, 13 thumbs up. And I know it's harder to do on the phone, so. Yeah, when you're on the Susan. phone. <laughs> Susan. Sugar daddy. <laughs> sugar daddy. Oh, did you hear that? That was so hilarious. <laughs> yeah, uh, on um, the rescuers, was it? It was the rescuers, right? Yeah. No. No, the. Monday night. Yeah, it was Monday night, right? Yeah. On the rescuers, Monday night, Misty was wearing our shirt. And I was, I was surprised. I didn't know she had gotten one. And David said I was a. Uh, he was my sugar daddy because I don't have to work and I can do this for a living. And she gave us a shout out. That was so cool. That was fun. Hi, Jody girl. So yeah, da hey. David had to chime in after that saying that he was my sugar daddy. Did y'all see it? Did they miss it? Are you bringing it up? He's bringing it up. <laughs> no, I mean, did this hit? I mean, I don't want to play it. No. Well, we know one saw it because one called, um, named you that. My sister didn't see it. She didn't see it? Probably not. Is this show on show violence if I do this? It's promoting their vintage. Okay, this is going to be hard to do. That, uh, what am I doing? Are you trying to play it? <laughs> yeah. Martha saw it. Dave said he's oh, her sugar daddy. Yeah. Trust me, honey. Hey, Dave, all is cracked up Dave today. did you see my shirt? Did you see my shirt, Dave? I'm representing oh. tonight. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> it was fun. I captured the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. She's wearing Vintage Uprising. I'm wearing, and on the back of this shirt says, um, what does it say? The Texas... Uh, Texas Vintage Hunters. Texas Vintage Hunters. So... I'm going to order some more of my shirts. I only have like three of the designs, I think. Maybe I'm wearing our vintage Uprising Texas Speedo right now. Maybe. Maybe not. You must have designed that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's about this big. <laughs> <laughs> shaking the table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so big. It's shaking the table. <laughs> Misty has a nice laugh. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like I sound like my mom when I laugh. Do I, Lisa? Do you hear mom when I laugh? You don't laugh. Never mind. I'm not <laughs> saying that. Your mom might be watching. I hear I hear my mom when I laugh. That's funny. Um Christy, let's see, David. Oh no. <laughs> this isn't vintage after dark. Maybe when we get to 2500 I'll show off a speed hump. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't know what to do. It. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa says no. No. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, no, she's probably saying no. I don't sound like mom. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, Martha says boxers would be okay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you don't remember her laugh when it's been like 1974? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, probably so, huh? That's funny. Maybe that time she ran over something. <laughs> Thought it was in an auction, not Naughty Talk. <laughs> well, <laughs> we we're going to do a bit. Oh. Uh, I don't remember the, like the uh, yeah, I don't remember like the Ellen show. What did Ellen do? I'm not even sure. I'm not sure. Tank tops. Christina wants tank tops done. Mm. I think you had those options. She's I think it's on there. Yeah. I was telling him today, I was like, oh my God, I feel hot. I feel so hot. I got friend mail today. It was exciting. I got some friend mail today. If she shows up, I'm going to show it. I'm going to show y'all anyways in a little bit, but um, I'm going to post it you on my there? Instagram. Yeah. Uh, okay. It was exciting and some pretty cool Christy, stuff that v -neck, she does. V-necks and tank tops. I do, ha I do have to do the V-neck separate. So I was going back in there and I don't know why. Why don't they just make it a choice to put on, pick a shirt and put the logo there. They got the logo. Why can't you just put it on whatever merch they have? Because that would be too easy. It is. And it makes me have to put a bunch of different, you know, of this. I don't know. They could fix that a little bit better. It should be all on the same. And then when I order samples, I have to do, I can't, I can order multiple samples of this shirt and you know in different colors only of this design and then I have to buy it and then go back and do it all over again separately for a different design and then that's dumb they should fix that too you should work for them <laughs> fix it uh, fix I think it. some of that stuff was common sense to hey, you know, work it that way a lot of things are common sense that I don't get remember yeah I'm just one of those people like what? Forties? I'm in the fifties, and it's. I feel that way. You're doing it early. I don't know. I could have felt that way in my forties. I just don't remember. You never remember. I don't remember nothing. I never remember anything. So, so some of y'all um, doing the dual virtue. Um, the dull watching of different shows tonight. Have y'all figured that one out? Because there's so many of us on at the same time. Have I? What are you doing? I'm trying to get the link so I can put it on Instagram for people to get. It. Oh. Oh. Well, you have to just say live now because. Um, yeah. You can't add a link. 
Hi, Auntie Christy. Hi, Jenna. Oh, no, she has a show um, thing tomorrow. Um, how, do you, how do you say her name? Jenna Neat. Jenna. Janine's. 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 Hey, Janine's. Darlene. <laughs> Hi, Darlene. From Northwest Indiana. Ooh, 99, 99 degrees in Indiana? What's going on? Mm. Mm. I mean, 90 in Canada was bad. I want That time we went to Niagara, I wanted it to be like 70 degrees. No, it was 90. <laughs> Yeah, David's gonna make his own underoos. Underoos, yeah. The bring them back. Bring back the underoos. You remember that when you were a kid? Yeah, I'll put your um, the vintage uprising with the looks like the Ninja Turtle logo, that yeah. style <laughs> in underoos. Okay, well, nope, nope, not that one. What are we doing? What are we doing? We got some pretty cool stuff. I. What do you think? I think I'm letting go of some of my stuff that I've been hoarding. Just a little bit. A real pretty bullet style vase from Frank Homa. The. Oh, I don't think I still made one for that one. You need to do that. I forgot oh, that one. We'll, I'll do it later. Um, the L.E. Smith black glass trophy vase. I'm going to let that one go. I have trench art. If y'all know anyone that likes trench art, let me pick it up for them. What else am I doing? Oh, I don't know if anyone likes inkwells. I'm doing. I have a really nice porcelain inkwell. It's real pretty. Hello, Tammy. Hey, Melinda. Hi, Melinda. Tammy's Royal TRW. Copley. TRW. TRW. <laughs> Royal Copley. I'm Tam Tam. She's TRW. Or Tammy Renee. Yeah, we, we need to start calling each other by our middle names. There's Royal so many Copley, Tammies. They, they've been on this for three weeks. You supposed to sell some Royal Coffee? Huh? Are you? Ain't you, that what yours is? No. I don't know. She's probably talking about something in the... Uh, I'll uh, show you a preview. Hand me the inkwell just to show one. This thing is dainty. It's very... It's the really nice, thin... Then porcelain. Hi, Deanna Church. That's the lid. The rose vase is what Deanna was talking about. And a little pretty. And of course, the. Oh, no. That comes out. I'm not sure what. Um, Rosalinda, I mean, uh, Roxana was talking about. Oh, I said the Frank Homa. This is the black. It's almost like a black iridescent because it shows blue in some lighting. It's the bullet style 43. Frank bullet Homa. style. Bullet, bullet style. style. Kind of art deco from the 30s. But anyway, that'll be in the sale at some point. Stick around. I thought my phone was on silent. <sighs> so this is this is my stuff that's been hanging around that I didn't want to sell, but I'm selling it. I can't keep everything, Tammy says. What do we have first? Let's that's go. That's what he used to tell me all the time. So you don't have anything for that one? No, you'll have to make that one. Okay. I forgot about that one. Okay. How about we get started? We'll get started. You missed us last Friday, Deanna. Well, you can always go back and watch it and see see the nuts in there. <laughs> <laughs> Including the, you. <laughs> not me. Why can I not? Oh, there it is. I do not see this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to have up is some little crochet flowers. I wonder if my sister can make these. She's a crochet wizard. 
look at these there's two of them and they got the little flowers on there they're crocheted and they're on long stems they're their stems they're about 11 inches tall two blue slightly i think there's yeah one's green and one's a blue if that this one's really green why is it not getting a true focus color there it's weird this is a lighter blue and that one's a more of a green kelly green so that that color is not from what i'm looking at oh there it is yeah i'm looking at david's it is it does it shows the green green and the blue from on this green it doesn't so we got these two little uh bud flowers i don't know what kind of type of flower this would be but they're they're really cute this is something i would not be able to kill right i should have a lot of these hanging up all around my house and my and my planters they would last forever but they're handmade very darling so these two are going to be if i can pick up my paper twelve dollars number eleven twelve dollars number eleven for the crocheted flowers lena says she can keep those alive <laughs> High perfecting pearls. Hi, Julia. That that's my kind of plant. Yeah, definitely. We might make, let those survive. Everything's kind of crammed in here right now. Next, I have up is this. Um, uh, what is that? Poinsettia? Do I say it right? Poinsettia. Poinsettia. With, and, and another flower, whatever that white flower is. I don't know my flowers. It's, it's about four inches round. It's a little trinket dish. Like a milk glass trinket dish with gold gilding all the way around. I don't even see this paper on here. I need to get this sticker off. There's a, there was a sticker on here and a sticker on there. So, see, I didn't do my job cleaning it off. It was turned to the side. It looked clean otherwise. <laughs> but a cute little uh, trinket dish. It's a, it stands about one and a half inches tall. Hi, Eclectic. Hi, Hi Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> um, just a little poinsettia dish. Is it a dogwood? Dogwood, there's no, no, no dogwood. What I have to bring it down to get it out of the light so I can see it better because it just glares. Just show the flower again, just a little bit. Oh, the flower is a flower dogwood. I thought you meant by the name, but anyways, four inches uh, round, an inch and a half tall, little um, glass. I don't know. It's not ceramic. I don't know what you call this. Milk glass like dish. It's eight dollars and number ten. Eight dollars number ten. Hi, hey, Sabrina. Sabrina. <laughs> Pinch pokey owe me a coke. Oh, Martha changed your name. You're Sabrian now. You're Sabrian. <laughs> or say, Brian. Sabrian. We say, say, Brian. What is this? Black? So how about this little I feel like guy? baby in the corner. Okay. You're not that special. <laughs> three and a half by two. This is a three and a half by two cutesy little doggy. I don't know. What kind of dog he is? Dalmatian, or no? I don't know or, that it's a uh, cocker spaniel. But he got some major eyebrows, one black ear, one white ear. Look at the little black foots. He's really cute. There's no maker model on him. His name's not on here, so we get to name him whatever we want. 
Yeah, nothing on the bottom. Spooky junk in the house. Trisha's in the house. Oh, Hi, Michelle she Lee. just must have finished her show. Michelle Lee's in. <laughs> so this little doggy, he's going to be $8. Eight dollars, number nine for the cutesy little doggy. Hi, Michelle. Oh, so we're excited for about in a month. In a month, we'll be. This on the road today will be what is it saturday yeah. what is it saturday what hi sarah about? lee now i have this the music box? it's a music box cool. he's uh about six inches tall melinda's gonna take nine number nine thank you melinda thanks melinda um it's a cute little music box of Santa Claus. He's kind of a bis feel. I'm just going to be sprinkling Christmas um, here on out um, till Christmas. So, is that upside down? Hey, Uncle Andy. What is that? Man, man's, man's. Um. I yeah, man, man, M A N N. Into the it's from the man company. You hear it? It's starting. To, I hate to put it on to. Um, it does work. Is it off or on? Oh, now you're not going to work. Where's my speaker? Hi, Debbie. I don't even know where the speaker is. Your microphone's over here. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> so it does work. Some some death little, metal or something. The little switch right here. Death metal. Santa singing. Oh, he's not singing. He's just playing an instrument. So a really cute little Santa Claus. If y'all collect Santa Clauses. Or, you know, just love the Christmas decor. I don't know exactly how old this is, so... I'm going to guess 80s. And he is $13 and he is number four. Martha's saying that man is a good brand. He's in good shape. Very cute guy. Yes, Melinda, we have you for the dog, number nine. You're good, Melinda. Thank you, Melinda. Did I get dog? Oh, <laughs> she was feeding the cat. So, <laughs> Daddy Dave, sugar Daddy <laughs> Dave. Oh, I need to wear some Huggy Bear next week. Big fuzzy hat, big glasses. Oh, so you can be Big Daddy you Dave. Huggy, big seventies butterfly collar. <laughs> Look like Huggy Bear. <laughs> Where are my smalls? Okay, what is this one? The white. So next I have up is this cute little need my paper. It's a little button, a brooch. I don't know. Can we see it on white? On white. Is that a button brooch? It's, I don't know. It's it's a. I'm about to yell at Finny. She don't get out of here. I just hear her clicking and clicking. It's a little button brooch, and then see it has the um, lines. This line, so I call it a button brooch because of the. Your little finger button. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I mean, it's this big. Just a little white. Something that plain. I mean, you tell me. I don't know. Would it hold like a scarf or something? Like the scarf is doing all the talking and that's just kind of holding it. I don't see why not. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like if I'm wearing a dark suit, you let the tie do the talking. Yeah. 
I mean, it's it is only um, an says inch a wide white chocolate dip Oreo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it does with that little groove in it. It's only an inch wide. Janine says it's, it's, uh, she thought it was a macaroon. She's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> We're all talking about food, okay? You're gonna make me hungry. Martha now. says or memorial ribbon, holding a memorial ribbon. Yeah. I think we're in the focus. So it's it's real simple, real elegant, you know. I don't know what you it is it is the C yeah, the C clamp on the back. Oh nice, Uncle Andy. Found a nineteen twenties Pyrex in a silver serving holder today. Wow. Very cool. Nice. Fun. So this is gonna be twelve dollars, this little white button. I have brooch pin oh and i wanted to ask y'all when do you call it a brooch or in a pin when is it a pin or when is it a brooch or is that does that just mean the same thing aren't the pins vertical don't i don't know no so martha do you know wait wouldn't a pin Button have a, a backing like uh a... oh are the pins those push pins yeah is that what that is i would assume and all of these are brooches when they're when they have the class like this Tell me if you know, tell me because I just feel like this is small, so it's a pin when brooches are usually big. I don't know, I could be wrong. What is it, by the way? It's gonna be $12. Yeah, what does that feel like to you? $12, number 35. $12.35. Yeah, she's saying attack pin. Okay. So that's a brooch. A note. <laughs> okay. So I'll remember that. I just always sometimes have to like calling them pins, and I don't know if that's right. So next, I have this this metal candle holder. It's really neat. It's a Quinzetta. I know I don't say it right. So you know, there's. Do you have a book over there? A book? No. Okay. You want a book? Well, eight and a half. It's about eight and a half wide, and I don't know. It stands about two and a half tall, probably. Nope. About three and a half tall, I guess. Of this metal poinsettia, white with the gold brush strokes on it and it's 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 a metal it's just like that there is a tag on it saying it's from Nemus Marcus and it's a candle holder for one of those skinny candles I feel like there should have been at least two but it's it's kind of a large piece so I think it'll make a good statement yeah and if you ha if you're Nemus doing it's made in Italy if you're doing a busy uh decor it's a vignette vignette it'll fit in so i thought it was really nice looking nice poinsettia poinsettia how do you say poinsettia 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 somebody says it really elegant like so it's pretty cool guy i like the white and the the gold strokes on it and the layering of it so he is ten. He, it is, it is ten dollars, and it's number two. Ten dollars, number two. It does say it's from Nemus Marcus, made in Italy. Neat little guy. Joanne here. Hi, Uncle Andy. Deanne says she's wondering if you could put it on a wreath. You could, oh, but yeah. it, but the center is a candle holder. But I mean, well, not that you, you really have to, have to look. But thank you, Deanne. Deanne's going to take two. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think it would be put on, you could put it very easily on a wreath. We got you for two, Deanne. Pins and brooches are both decorative. Sharpness. So it still doesn't matter. I could say pin or brooch for anything. <laughs> 
Okay. Now I have this set. Deanna saying pins are a general category for such pieces of jewelry and brooches are a specific type of pin, according to Google. I have this cute little set now. Thank you for your research, Deanna. <laughs> um, of course, I love 70s. I have this set in my kitchen. And, you know, I don't know that everybody's keyed in on 70s and these colors, but, you know, they're some of my faves. Look at these. I have these guys in my kitchen. And if they don't sell, I'll probably put them on the other side. No. You know? Then we'll have this, like. We're going to have a kitchen full of owls and metal. Fighting <laughs> faction of 70s <laughs> owls going at it. Y'all seen these guys before? I'm sure they're from, um, how do you say that word, Sexton? Am I saying it right? Because it sounds kind of naughty. From the 70s. It's a metal. They're that metal. Sounds naughty. <laughs> Sexton. Uh, um, Todd. Yeah, I remember a guy in school that was his stepdad's name, and he wanted to adopt that name. You know, wanted him to be adopted so he could. Uh, exactly, Uncle Andy. The more you know. Knowledge is power. <laughs> Knowledge is power. These are nine inches tall. They do have a little scuffing, you know, on on their paint around here in some places. But they're still really bright. All that looks good. You see it around his green face there. A little of the metal showing through on that one too. I think on his belly here, but they're they're still really cool. So for the pair of these, I don't want them to cling up to each other. Very careful. Nine, what I said, nine inches tall. Mm -hmm. They are going to be twenty dollars for the set, and it's number one. Twenty dollars for the set, number 70s one. Seventies owls, you owl lovers, or if you know an owl lover, or you just love these colors. Or if you want to shop early, you're never too early to shop. And then we'll have a matching set. With those guys at the end. Set you down. Then we, let's see. I think I had two. The poinsettia candle holder. Yes, that went to Deanne Campbell. The, uh. I think I only had two Christmas items in here tonight. So here's the other one. I'm going to go ahead and show this. It is one of those crystal Christmas trees. It's eight inches tall. Very icy looking. There's no make on here. And I've, I've have some more of these. And, you know, some had stickers. This one has, this is the only one I have that has the glitter on it. See the glitter on its branches. It has a little twisted top there. Eight inches tall. This was in all in good shape. No uh, chips on the on the uh, branches or anything. The bottom is flat. Let me take my sticker off. Nothing on the bottom. It's heavy. So. Poinsettia. Poinsettia. <laughs> Somebody. No, show. I'm just. Oh, you're trying to think would, of it. <laughs> no, I just thought I would say it for you. Poinsettia. It's about this big. Is it cold to the face? Oh my God, no, we don't. We don't do that. <laughs> so the the Christmas the crystal Christmas tree with the glitter. The glitter. The glitter is fourteen dollars and it's number three. Burn my face. Did it burn your face? It's gonna <laughs> poke you in the eye. That's what it's gonna do. But this is the only one I have with the glitter. I like that. It was nice. It's different. And Krista Morgan. Hi, Krista. Is in for three. She was lurking. <laughs> Hi, Krista. Krista the oh. lurker. <laughs> hey, Barbley. How about this? I'm going to show this real quick. Get this out of the way. It's really big. I have a needlepoint. 
if I remember this right, it's needlepoint with um, with a cat on it. Very pastel colors. Oh, those glares. See, I don't even have my ring light on because my lamp above does it enough. So look at that cute little cat. It's needlepoint. It's matted. It's framed with a matching wood uh, bluish brown frame. And the flowers. This. Sitting on a pillow and the, um, some flowers on the pillow. I wish Kiss, Kitty Cat was this calm. But it is a 22 by 17 frame, the whole frame, 22 by 17. It is professionally done, ready to hang. Hi, Sue. But I think it's a very pretty and well done work. I love the pastel colors in it. Can y'all see that well without the light glaring on it? Hi, Michelle Lee. And this is going to be? $24, number 31. $24, number 31. And I do believe this is needlepoint, right? Ooh. It's, it's not, hard to see the glare, but yeah, I it's think not so. cross stitch needlepoint. Oh, that's needlepoint. That's gorgeous. Listen, listen to him. Like he knows. Like <laughs> He's learning his needlepoints, cross stitch, and cruel. And what was that new word that I learned? Get close with that cat. I did. I did. No, closer. Meow. Closer still. <laughs> so, he got some yellow eyes. Ah, this is heavy holding up. Is it really? So, he's, it's $24, number 31. Let me put them out of the way. <laughs> We're Mr. and Mrs. Texas now. <laughs> Hi, Joanne. Joanne called us Mr. and Mrs. Texas. We we need we need sashes. Where are sashes? Sashes. Sashes. Skunky jump. I got my ten gallon hat. I forgot to tell you that. It <laughs> is so cool. I'm so glad I bought that. Very cool. The rum. I'll show you another cat item. Hey, cat. Hi, Picasso cat. I have another kitty cat item. Let me see. Isn't he cute? It's a little pillow. Now, what is this, David? What kind of stitching is that, David? That's cat stitching. Cat stitching. Um, I don't know if that's, I don't know. I'm not sure. The pillow is 13 inches round. It's pretty, pretty good, as Altuve would say. It has lace, and then it's stitched out in that, um, oh, I cannot think of that type of embroidery thread that you buy in the little loops, but I like how it has the lace around it Look along the with the ruffle. Claws. Very cute. You have Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, and Scary Claus. And Scary Claus. <laughs> so this kitty cat pillow is $12. Yellow kitty cat pillow number 32. $12 number 32. Martha saying chain stitch. Chain stitch. Yeah, he's really careful. How did they get the lace to do that? Is that is that stitch or is that? I don't know cool? if this was come some kind of a um, kit. Yeah, kit because the lace inside the cat is you know. I don't know. Probably a kit. It's cute, old and vintage. I like it. What did you do with your inkwell? My inkwell is over here. Be very, very careful with it. Okay, you talk about it. It is because okay. you know everything about it. The inkwell. 
This is a porcelain inkwell. It comes in three parts. There's a uh, cotton stuffed in here, so this doesn't rattle around too much. But it's the very nice thin porcelain, very detailed English. There's the actual ink reservoir that fits inside of here. If you're a serious ink fountain up. pen, you can <laughs> keep some um, nibs inside if you want. Are you showing the design very well? Um, well, did you put it up there very close? A little bit, but I'm showing. Here's the lid, the cap that goes to it, and like I said, it's very thin, very thin porcelain. If you like ink wells, like me, I like more. I like glass and some of the older wood ones. This one, this one, it's. I'm not saying it's dainty. I'm just afraid I'm gonna break it because I use the ink wells a lot. How wide is it? How big is it? Uh, here you measure. It's gonna be twenty-four dollars. It's about two inches, just over two inches, slightly over two inches. What's that? One mark past two. <laughs> one mark past two. One sixteen. <laughs> it's two, two and two. Oh, mark past two. I'm sorry. No, one mark. <laughs> one mark. It's so it's about mark. two inches. Anyway. And <laughs> two and a half inches tall. For this. It's twenty four dollars. And where is it? Inkwell. Number 40. It is very pretty, very dressy. Now I'll set this, set this over here. Hi, Mary. I wouldn't call it Art Deco, Martha. I just wouldn't. It's, it is ornate, but. Mm. I don't know. It just doesn't strike me as Art Deco. And I love Art Deco and Art Nouveau. I mean, that's my jam. To steal uh, to steal vintage and vinyls uh, saying, that's her jam. That's my jam. I don't think it's Art Deco at all. Martha, but if you know anyone that likes inkwells, that, that'd be a good get. Martha, we're going to start this out at $13. I'm going to start this lipstick holder at $13. Let me take my tag off here. It is the silver and gold tones. It holds three lipsticks. It is almost five in, in yeah, almost five inches long and one and a half inches. Nope, more than that. One and three fourths inches wide. And it has these little jewels. See the jewels in there? the pink blue and what is that um ruby and another uh darker blue yellow i'm going backwards on the camera yellow and green emerald so you see those and then those very cute leaf stone i mean leaf uh, uh i can't talk Silver tone, the leaf silver tones and the gold uh, cages to hold your lipsticks or whatever you choose to hold it in. I thought this was really cute. So, starting at $13 if you're interested. So, very cute on your vanity guest room. That's a white stone. Did I say white earlier? No, that's a baby blue. It's baby blue. I don't know the name of my stones, so I thought that one was different because it had the you know the jewels in there like that. <laughs> you can store three shotgun shells in there. <laughs> okay, if the guy wants to buy it and put shotgun shells in there. <laughs> hey man, I like that fancy. Shotgun show. <laughs> you got yeah, that would be okay. If nobody's interested in this, then we'll put this aside for now. See, it's about this big. 
You had to do it. Well, it gives you a visual. I like visuals. I'm a visual kind of person. What if everyone thinks they they see you, but in they in their imagination, your head is like this big. Then they're gonna think that item is that big. Well, then they will know if their imagination, my head's this big. Then the item right. is that big. So it still works out the right same. Now. Squishing your head. Uh, <laughs> Squish your head. Now I have this, I would say mid-century, I think. Would you call this mid-century stuff? I don't know. Would you? Take the string off of here. We have this metal wire. Don't know. It it's uh, welded. Is it? Okay, it stands five inches tall, and it is. Mm -mm -mm. I think this is a project. About piece. six. No, they. I found them six okay. inches long. It is not a project piece. It's a letter holder. Letter holder. I think it's death set because here's your pen holder. Pen holder and letter holder. Let's set. So. Those are white squares. Mm -hmm. Well, your paper holder. Paper holder and desk, um, pen set. The pen thing is two and a half, two and three fourths inches tall. So it's a cute little desk set. I would say it's a desk set, but you can use it whatever you want. For your shipping station. Shipping station, yeah. Desk set. Yeah, that'll work real good for that. Homework station. So your bill station. For the for the two piece here, it's going to be twelve dollars. Are you staring at me? No, I'm looking at your hands. Oh, okay, twelve dollars, number twenty two, for the mesh. Stop staring at me. Design. <laughs> Can you see that design very well? So, twelve dollars, number twenty-two. This was found in Canton. Was it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't that the bundle thing? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, Canton. It was hot in Canton. It was hot in Canton. Could have used a tornado that day. <laughs> yeah, we might be flying away. See, Martha thinks it's very mid-century too. Well, because it is. Because it is. I told you. I told you it was. That's good bread. I ran out of alcohol. Okay, next I have up is this um, sewing, I would say sewing basket, crochet basket. It's 15 inches wide. I mean long. And it opens up to be 12 inches wide. It has two pockets in there. The two pockets. Wood frame. I just love the color. It looks very um, boho. You think? Boho-ish? Here I go. Saying boho-ish. Boho. It's just boho. It's just boho. -ish. boho -ish. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. But it has. It needs to be stitched up right there. The little pink vinyl stitch right back up to the outside piece. But I love the the wood frame of it. Magazine holder, your craft holder, crochet. What I did I hear something in here? Did you? Are you hearing things? I think you're hearing things. I thought I keep hearing what? metal. Maybe it's the mouse. Oh, there's no, there's crochet needles inside of here somewhere. Uh, well, you get extra. If you get it, you get Yay, extra. Yeah, you get two that? crochet needles. See, it held crochet stuff. So you get two crochet needles with it now. But, and it's fabric. I love it. I love how, I love the colors of it. 
Very Everyone's nice. ooing and ah, uh, ooing and eyeing at the colors. Love the colors. I would love to do my whole living room in these colors. Where'd you find that? You found that. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a setup, y'all. <laughs> he found this. David at the picked wagon this wheel. out at the wagon wheel. Outside David. of Canton, Texas. <laughs> We the, found this at the wagon wheel outside of Canton, Texas. Yeah. It is $25 and it's number 29. Yes, David found it. He's so proud of himself. $25, number 29. I, I just knew you'd love it. <laughs> it is up my alley. Very cute. I love these colors. Krista is 20 minutes from Canton. Well, we'll see you. Oh. We'll see you we the next know. Sunday. Come burn with us. <laughs> next Sunday. The next Sunday for Canton. If if we still go through with that. Mm, I don't see why not. Come burn with us. Come burn with us, yes. <laughs> you, get, you can get a, a fresh burn at Canton next month. Okay, what do I have next? What's next, Dave? What's next? Hmm. Is is can't see. Is Mike Cundiff in here? Mm -mm. No. How about what is it? <laughs> Krista. Oh no, no, no. It's too hot to be walking around there. <laughs> you don't have to walk. You can rent a cart. You can rent your little shopping cart. You don't have to walk. <laughs> Next, I have this, um, what's it called? Abalone. Eight inches tall, you know, well, from here not, to here. It's not. From its bent. It's one of those abalone um, shellfish. Fish. Now, I know they have um, seahorses in this. And it says on there. So, it must be a, a, the a, souvenir, a souvenir, souvenir piece. piece. The Ozarks the on Ozarks. there. But do y'all do your bathroom in fishes? It has a hook ready to hang. He's eight inches. He's about this big. And if you hold it up like this, it looks even bigger from you. See? Oh, yeah. Look, look at my catch. Mm. Little camera tricks there. And he is $8. Ooh, this way. $8, number five. I thought I forgot to show you about this, Sabrina. You if you eight? were interested in more fish, you wrote a little eight in. Yeah, it was a little eight because my paper bent on me. So I hate when paper bends. <laughs> the bends. So I made it messy. Eight dollars, number, number five. five. And guess who picked that up? Sabrina. <laughs> Sorry, Sabrina. I forgot to show you this yesterday because it was already in this pile and I forgot about it. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina. And you were you missed about that much skunky junk. Chris this Christy, much. what was six? Or did you mean five? So Oh no, we're not at six yet. That's a Texas throwdown. Um If it's uh, if it makes any difference, Skunky Junk, the seahorse probably wouldn't match the trout because <laughs> that's a trout. Okay, next I have another brooch. I really like this one. To me, it's very. Would you say that's mid-century style? Yeah, it's pretty clean, minimalist. It's it's a silver. Silver tone brooch. It's very simple. I think it's clean lines. I mean, I don't know how you'd wear it this way or up and down or sideways. It is um, two and a half inches tall. It, it does have the C clamp. The C clamp on it. There is no name no maker model to it and I what did I say two and like two and a half inches long 
very cute. I thought this was very nice. Very simple. I mean, looks to me mid-century-ish. Um, it's not big or go home. <laughs> so we're going to do this for a flat rate of $14, number 34. Is that your phone? Yeah, I'm going to get a new phone. No, you're not. Right. You're just going to suffer through it. But I'm Sugar Daddy. Mm -hmm. Sugar Daddy should be buying me a new phone. Sugar Daddy has tried three times and Sugar Baby don't want a new phone. <laughs> sugar Baby. Oh, my God. Y'all don't listen to him. You're my sugar mama. <laughs> Honey, Sugar Baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least I make you laugh. Uh, it's so easy. <laughs> okay, next we have another kitty cat. I think this is my last cat. It's another little cat pillow, and it's, um, oh, my God, ticking, ticking fabric, made out of ticking fabric. He's about 12 and a half inches is it really? long and ticking, like not a bomb ticking, 12 uh, and a half inches tall. I would have said watch, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> And it's embroidered on the face. I have a bunch of this fabric. I want to make a bunch of pillows one day. And <laughs> whenever I get to sit down and start sewing again, when I figure out my time wise, a very cute little kitschy cat. Oh, uh, don't tell kitschy. It's going to be our new cat. We'll sell kitschy cat. We'll send you the real cat and we'll keep this cat. No, you're going you're gonna to get the pillow cat. He is $12 yeah, face. with his green eyes, real cat face. And number 28, $12, number 28. For the kitschy cat, what did I say again? I forgot the fabric already. See how bad I am? It comes and it goes. Such bad, bad memory. Gingham? No. Ticking, ticking, ticking. There he is. Speaking of, speaking of kitty cats. He's getting so big. Okay, I have another little doggy. Um, get along, little blueberry critters. Get along. A little poodle dog. <laughs> he must have belonged to a family at one time because he had a leash, a tag. He is. What? What's this? You need to take that off. What is that? One more time. A uh, little white poodle dog scratching his ear. Look at his face. A little cold paint missing on his nose there. He got a little bouffant hairdo right here. There's no no maker model on him either. Let me move my tag. So this little poodle dog will be eight dollars number seven he's scratching his ear can you see that or he's doing yoga or yoga yeah there you go get those stretches in you know you gotta limber up before you chase the mailman <laughs> yeah i guess so that'll work of course old red when he's sitting on the porch he don't have to stretch when the mailman comes. He just get up and start running. He's no <laughs> stretching in Red's book. Okay, I have some salt and peppers. This is um, how do I say that? They're those uh, crystal salt and pepper. This is these were a little patina. I got them clean. Look at the little stars in the hose, the big hose and a little hose. <laughs> So I guess this is, no, this one is the salt because it's small, small little hose. And then the pepper gets a big hose. It's focus. Everybody focus on me now. Eh, eh, eh. And it has these etched design flowers in here. And it's kind of concaved. It goes in a little bit. Those are fancy. I am not getting it to focus very well. Okay, here we go. You see? Has these leaves like on it? Is 
but this these Can't did Mr. Cat below. see they did have some patina on them and I got them as much clean as I could I, I didn't know I really didn't know how to how you're supposed to clean these things but um I'm sure they can use some more cleaning but they got some little they got a little bit of weight to them that one mm, yep so these little crystal uh salt and pepper shakers thank you melinda thank you melinda are gonna be 14 dollars did i tell you how long how tall they are three inches just over three inches tall $14 for the crystal salt and pepper shakers, number 23. I have glitter on me. You have glitter on you? Yeah, from the tree. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. I was like, where do you get glitter? You've been putting makeup on again? No, it's from the tree. Oh, okay. From Christmas tree. <laughs> salt and pepper shakers. Okay, next. Next. We got it, Melinda. Thank you. Now, all right, we're going to do this. We're going to start this off at um, $25. Starting this off at $25, um, Martha. <laughs> what? A unicorn farted on her? <laughs> we have this uh, little trinket dish or ashtray with a pixie on it isn't he so cute now let me tell you what's you know a little bit about it um it has a lid on it okay but this does have and i did not notice this when we picked it up but it all blended in i just like oh a pixie he's cute let's get him um i think david pushed me to get him though it has a little nick right there if you can see that very well focus can you see that well and did I find another one and something right there so it's a little ashtray or and candy the dish the hat just tiny tiny I didn't I didn't notice it on the hat it's right on the edge but like i said it's tiny look how close i'm having to get to show it he's pretty so cool i don't understand what this side is the lid for it and then these have the little debit cigarette holder cigarette holder oh yeah, you, you hide your cigarettes, cigarettes oh what was it for like single cigarettes but it's no it's you a have teardrop. company over you you only allow them five cigarettes you can give away all your luckies <laughs> But I thought this is very cute. Ooh. Very cute. Little sexy man. See, this is nine inches long. Yep, about nine inches long. <laughs> He's not colored. He's. <laughs> that's what they're saying that's how I got pixie. glitter on me what, with the uh the unicorn farting on me. <laughs> oh let me show you the back he's the highly capital so no one's interested in the back well you gotta get an idea what it looks like so anyhow okay if nobody's interested in this then we will move on <laughs> The man spreading pixie. <laughs> All right, we'll move on from this one. What did I do with that? Oh. We must be all all uh tired oh i didn't put no from what first day of school yeah did y'all did any of y'all have um kids that went back to school we didn't we had grandkids next door yeah, but what look, are these the pressure's Could, not on us tell me what the look on the number what what's on those i didn't sure. write those what they were 
sure. I have a little address book. It is really cute, 12 inches long. Flowerty address book. And it's new. I mean, not new, but it's it don't have any writing in it. So it wasn't used is the word I'm actually looking for. Where is the side? And it has the, the alphabet like that. I kind of thumbed through it and I didn't see no writing in it. Doesn't have any friends. I had a blue one. I mean, a green one like this a while back. Now, this does have some wear like on the spine. See the paper? The, I mean, the wear of the print. And the spine here. The edge. But I thought it was really cute. So. It prob probably belonged to Sally Draper. Yeah. I love the flowers. The, the color is so bright. So this is $6. This address book is going to be $6, number 14. Six inches is not, tw I mean, 12 inches is not little. It was, well, it's thin. I didn't even say how wide it was. Three and a half inches wide. It's a, it is a little phone book, a little cute phone book, tall, skinny, and Sabrina likes it. Sabrina likes it. I Thank love the Sabrina. flowers. I love those colors. Thank you, Sabrina. It's fun. It is fun. Um, Ooh, Finny. So, would you consider this? I think this is. <laughs> Finny just stops and looks at him. Boho. A boho tray. I think it's boho-ish. It's boho, <laughs> not boho-ish. It is 17 inches round. Look at those colors. Oh, this. We've got all kinds of shiny lights growing on it. I love Scott it. says it looks like the house coat. Mrs. Roper wore. Oh, the uh, phone book? The yeah, address book? The phone book. <laughs> There's Brinkley, girl. Berkeley, girl. I mean, Berkeley. Yep, sorry. <laughs> I can't pronounce nothing tonight. I have something to show y'all in a minute. So this tray, 17 inches. It's one of those plastic trays. I think it's... Um, boho boho tray i love the colors just like the the uh crochet basket it is going to be 13 dollars oh and it's number 13. david loves it when it happens when that happens i think it's lacy i think it's lacing it's n i don't do it on purpose i write okay. out my tags and i've listed everything on the paper and then i go down the list and <laughs> okay it okay. comes up that way okay okay so Laziness. What does that mean anyway? It's laziness. It mm. And it's just white on the back side. You're such a no. So I'm just, I gotta tell you, I have um I got friend mail today. And we pause this program for an important <laughs> message. I want to show it up up. I'm gonna post it on Instagram. I just opened it right before we started today. And I got all the goodies, all everything that I that I searched for. Now I need to ask if I understood this right. Do you make this? Do you make string? But I got this, and everything was individually wrapped with ties and little cute little stickers. She's got um, personalized yeah. stickers. She does. Yes, I got it today. So, and let me show you the package. It came like this. Who's that? I love the package. And she had a sticker on the back side. And all this fit in, in that little envelope. But everything was individually wrapped 
with personalized stickers and these little ties on it and I already opened everything so look I got a kitschy doll catchy kitschy kokoshi <laughs> kokoshi I can never say the right <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were, I thought you were having a seizure I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> but isn't she cute I was so excited to see this this and this look it's little mini cards of Raggedy Ann and Andy from Hallmark and they're still wrapped this is going straight up there and not to be opened so cute so cute she said she sold so the twine to anthropology for three years straight that's nice wow i love it and i i i have a sewing room i would display this in my sewing room so i mean everything you got was like oh yeah i i, I have a place for everything i'm keeping it all and look where this is going going in my window in my window <laughs> hey she got me two flowers I love it. I love it. I love it. And she wrote me a cute little card. But I love this. And you don't have a YouTube channel? Because I was trying to find you and I was going to shout you out on the YouTube channel as well. What? Uh, no. I love her stickers. Christina Taylor saw the flower. She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I love her stickers. I want to know where you get your stickers. I love the stickers. She had a sticker on every package, little package. I loved it. I love it. I love it. It was it was great. I was hoping you'd be here, pop in so I could show this. So if y'all haven't seen my collection, of course, these have been recently put on there. And I do have a little collection on my Instagram of these. You can see. And then I have a whole tour of my sewing room on my YouTube account so and of course one day I'm gonna do a whole tour of my Raggedy Ann and Andy stuff but I just don't have it all right here my mom has a lot of my dolls at her house please let minutes, me be so. golfing that weekend <laughs> you're pulling all of it out <laughs> yeah so I have some what I have here in the house here and then in my sewing room I have an, a lot more so um Raggedy Ann and Andy stuff but Thank you. Thank you so much for all this. I loved it. She loves it. I love it. But I was waiting to show y'all that. I can't believe you make this string. Amazing. So I'm going to reuse that string. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> so you'll see that on Instagram as well later. Next, next, next. <laughs> Tim Renee Walsh says, I should be prepared. Prepare the Guinness Book of World Records to count your flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he can count that high. Right. <laughs> Next, we have a, this cute little doggy, this brown dog playing with his ball, brown and white dog. He is four inches long and mm, two in, just over two inches tall. He's adorable. So cute. There is no maker model on him either. Yeah, there's a back side. And he is eight dollars. Oh, David, I did it again. Mm -hmm. Eight dollars, number eight. Must Hi, be, Deborah. It must be psychological. Hey, Deborah. This is our from. I think. Oh, from the mule. Okay. Sticker mule. You need to write that down for me. I have it written down. I'm ahead of you right here. Yeah, he was jumping around. Why don't you have this stuff? So, Deborah, stuff? I guess you saw one of her first videos of that sewing room. It is huge. Oh, she did see it? She must have. She says she saw the sewing room. Oh, okay. It well, it don't look nothing like that right now because this guy keeps emptying his truck and throwing crap on my sewing table. There's nothing on top of your sewing table. Oh, you table. finally cleaned it off? What is it? What is it? I don't know. Some of your crap. I'm it's loaded. Say. Yeah. No, it's in my truck. Okay. So, he moved it. Look at, look at him. What is that? Airing dirty laundry. <laughs> <laughs> He's messing up my sewing. I need to find time to go over there and sew. I want to do some mm -hmm. sewing. That's one of my 
my hobbies. It's going to be my new equipment table. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't think so. You talked a lot about um, having having to tear down that. We found that uh, sewing table from an estate sale. And luckily, we got it on the last day at 50% off. And he had to tear it 70, down. 70% off. No, it was 50. She okay. only does 50. Okay. I thought it was more than that. From Margie Beagle. So next I have this uh, clear bird with bubbles in it. It is left. Um, was it called Lefton? Yes, Lefton. Is that upside down? Yep. That's upside down. No, it's right side up. From Japan. You see all the bubbles in it. Um, and look at the eyes. Don't look at my eye poking in there. Can you see that eye? It's a little bit blurry. Come on, camera. It's a little white, little white bubble like eye. There we go. And see the, it's controlled bubbles in there. It's from Lefton. It's, he is three inches long and hmm, about two inches tall. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to, we were starting him out at 15. Sorry, I meant to say that earlier. Was I, oh, just no time. I know the, I should have time. I should have plenty of time. We're going to start this, Martha, we're going to start this at $15. This Lifton, he would go great with, um, if you're collecting the colored birds, you know, the blue and red, yellows, and there's green. Well, here's a clear one for you. Is, is, there is green? Mm-hmm. I sewed one before. I've sewed a clear, I mean, a green one. The two, I think it had two doves on it with a little heart, like, because I thought, oh, no, it was on a shamrock little station. So, anybody interested in a look? I mean, it's not the, what do you call it, the... Birds of Happiness. I forget what their names are now. Blue Bird of Happiness. Scott, the, every time. Scott, are you still in here? We have Carol at 15. I like the little beady, little beady eyes. <laughs> Okay, Scott, well, oh, while we're here. waiting for beds, I like to daydream, and sometimes, Tammy, I'll just go on a tangent on these little thoughts and just make up stories, and I had this thought today that wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be sweet and cool if Scott, like, had a bag, and, like, 10 minutes before we entered the shop, that he had gone in the shop and placed all kinds of depression glass and catch where we can find it just like an easter egg hunt just for our visit and it was like oh look you found that depression glass that's so <laughs> sweet it's like i don't know i went off on a tangent it's just, it's you're a weirdo <laughs> <laughs> he's so weird i entertained myself it was a slow day at work well hello scott i didn't know that you were in here hi mm -hmm. sj <laughs> that's great idea. <laughs> no don't do that all right we're gonna start counting this down <laughs> Looking for 16 or more. We David went on his long tangent now. Um, starting at 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, did you want to do your, no, your six, uh, <laughs> five. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And well, Martha doing? will put stop. And if Carol's the only one, then it goes to Carol. Thank you, Carol, I think. Martha, you doing stop too? <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> no, Zeno came in and got it at Zen. the last Zen, Zen, I mean Zeno. Zeno. Zen came and got it at the last minute. Oh. Zen is lurking. <laughs> Little sniper. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Uh, right here. I feel hot. 
Why? I don't know. I'm hot. Maybe because you're holding the bird up so long. <laughs> okay, I have this. We're going to do this other little um, cute little doll. It's, I think it's like a, one of those. Um, we're going to start this at $12, Martha. This little celluloid doll. She is plastic little celluloid she's nine inches tall her arms and legs are strong on little dancing cutie baby like look she's like from the 60s with that headband oh let me take him but she's a little plastic dog dog doll has little strings holding her arms and legs together where she can sit and you can display her however you want in this little cutesy bathing suit. I love the headband. And she's plastic. I read it said celluloid. I mean, um, do you think that's celluloid? Celluloid? No. It's just Ain't celluloid supposed to be harder? But this is like, to me, like a thin kind of plastic. So, I mean, I'm just, yeah, she, she's older than the 60s. She's, oh, I'm missing somebody. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's I, I know 12. she's kind of old, but, and then, then the one little listing, you know, I mean, I don't know that everybody knows really their listings when you're getting it from eBay and all, but they said she was celluloid, but she's feels very thin sj says her legs are made to do the charleston the charleston <laughs> i bet david can make her do the choice katie's charleston. saying she's 20s and celluloid but she's super sweet super cute in a great shape yes very good shape let me show you the back here you're supposed to be can i hold this and you work something here? sure you know I gave, I gave one task. I took one task away from him, and I still can't get him to blend with me that well. He just likes to read the chat Joanne's to himself. <laughs> so, what is her head? Her hair is orange, and it gets lighter going down. But she is. She's in great shape. Like, she's just been put away. And Christy's at 18. But I tried. There's a little... A little um, marking here. It was like uh, kind of like a diamond shape. Joanne's at 20. And I can't read it now. I try to zoom in with my phone and read it. Um, there we go. The shadow. If you can, if you might know a little bit of that label. Like I can't even hold still. Uh, it's hard to read. So, but I thought she was super cute. And I try to think, what can I do with her? Where can I put her? Yeah, I. Joins at twenty five. But he's like, you don't need to keep it. You don't need to keep everything. Who said that? You tell me that all the time. Oh yeah, not her. I don't know if these were supposed to, you supposed to put clothes on them. Did they make clothes for them? Oh, I'm sure. I don't know. I didn't know nothing about her, but you know what? I buy what I like because I like what I buy. And I thought <laughs> she was cute. Cute, cute, cute. So. And she's in excellent shape. Yeah. And I wasn't even realized at the time that, you know, how old she could have been. So. I heard you can make one leg longer than the other. We have Joanna at 25. Katie saying often they were carnival prizes. Oh, really? Hmm. hmm. She's super cute, though. Hmm. Little sweet baby. Well, prepare to type because people are lurking. I guess we can count it are down. Are you ready so to count down? Chrissy's at 26. Okay, here we go. Start. I like the little bathing suit. I mean, <laughs> it looks like 
one of those dancers. Like they're trying to make this baby look like one of those as flappers. Yeah, flappers. There you go. So starting at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And Martha, you want to put sewed or bid in? And there we go. Stop. Joanne. And Joanne gets it. Thank you, Joanne. She's really Keep cute. Baby. <laughs> Here, you can put her back in this bag. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, you guys, who all bidded. Oh, and there's Christy after this stop. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And there's that one. Okay, we're going to do another another throw down we're going to start this off at 22 martha how about anybody collecting the tanala tanala like pottery mexican pottery he is four and a half inches wide he's about three and a half inches tall three and a half four and three and a half inches tall for this froggy he's a cute little froggy he does let's see there's no markings on the bottom let me make sure there's nothing under my tag I, yeah nope and he was was he signed i don't remember now yeah there it is just son Mexico so no initials but he's super cute froggy I see birds all the time and I had a snail last week I think it was oh the snail was pretty cool how hardy are these have you heard do people put them in gardens um, or should they not be outside no um no I think uh Christy used to say that they used to put them in their gardens all the time. Okay. I, was, I, was I mean, curious. it's Mexican pottery. It's it's a nice thick piece of pottery. Mm -hmm. So I think you have Debbie at twenty two. Hey got, Jody, I got a froggy on my. How was Chili's, Jody? You ate. My daughter got me some Chick Fil A. I haven't been able to eat yet. <laughs> Look at those lips. Got some wide lips there. Nice painting. He's one of the um, darker, what is that, grayish blue? What does that look like to you, David? Um, gray, a gray. smoky gray, yeah. blue. I don't know if I have like a little blue tint. Jody, I was just kidding because you disappeared. I said, I guess you went to Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We we have real life. Real life happens. Jody, you, Jody has a sale tomorrow. I don't think she had one today. Did you, Jody? Stove top. If you did, I missed it too. But Jody has a sale tomorrow. Martha has a sale tomorrow. Martha went to Papacitos. What? Oh no, Jody! I love pasta. I can do pasta twenty four seven. She had Chick Fil A for lunch and Papacito for dinner. And you didn't invite me to Papacitos. Oh, what kind of friend are you? Papacitos is my favorite. My favorite. Debbie's at 22. Okay. Well, and back to the cell. <laughs> okay. We'll start counting down for this Mr. Froggy here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop. Martha, stop. Martha, Martha, Martha. Can't believe you went to Papacitos without me. No, that he brought it to her. Oh, oh. He could have brought me some too. I'm not that far away. Kind of out of the way as he's going along on a 10. But. So that's Debbie Wilmarth's. 
<laughs> this going to Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. She put stop in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Can I have the tag? You can have the tag. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Do you want to do your um not yet? Uh not how about yet. some trench art? Let me grab it here. Are y'all familiar with trench art? I'm gonna let David tell you about it. Everyone knows what trench art is. I didn't until David picked it up. It's a bullet. It's a bullet. And this holds I guess flowers or pins and it is let me tell you how it's five and a half inches tall the base is four inches wide this base and I will let David tell you about it tell him David what it yeah she got it I can't I'm not in there you, you don't what do you what I don't know what she's pushing yeah, Debbie got it right. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know. know that, I don't know if she's saying like I don't know what trench art is or. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. But Debbie, you got the tunnel off. Right? You don't have to type in the chats. You can say it out loud, and everybody's going to hear. I know, you. but I want her to like. Oh yes, it's it's in black and white. I read it. <laughs> trench art. <laughs> trench art. You're such a dork. So a trench dork. art is basically items that started. And World War One, and then in World War Two, but the soldiers in the field, in the trenches, would take uh, the brass or metal, basically from the large shells that were emptied um, after firing. So they made different items. In this case, this is a vase that was made, hammered out from different pieces of an empty shell and this one is has a hammered finish some are smooth they've made they make all kinds of things with this metal but these were these date basically i think they were making trench art even in um in vietnam from what i remember this one came from an estate sale. I believe the gentleman was a World War II vet. And he had a lot of military. But this, this is a, like Tammy said, this is a, what would you say? How long it was? Five and a half. Five and a half Five inches eight. tall base. Pretty cool. I think that's what I said. It's copper. Or the, the brass shell. I'm sorry, brass shell. But it's hammered thin. It's pretty neat. But like I said, it's a hammered finish. It's not smooth, so they, they hammered that where it has that nice texture. And, and it's, I like it. It's art. And it's going to be $24. You already showed this? No, I haven't showed that. It's going to be $24, and it's number 39. They made all kinds of items. Hi, Sylvia. Nice, Sylvia. Glad you could join us. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is... I should have been reading the chat Hi, when Sylvia. he was talking. Oh, they might be talking to someone else. Um, okay, this I'm going to start off... Martha at $25. Here we have an uh, assemblage. Assemblage. Assemblage wooden fire truck with a doggy in it. And it has some uh, vintage blocks and checkers. And what is this? Oh, uh, uh, what is that? What is that toy called? Um, uh, I from wait, the um, oh, from the um, not pixie sticks. No, I can't think of the name of that, but you know, y'all see it here. Set? No, that's metal. 
and this is i think this is a oh kite um string holder where it comes up this way and down this way and then the you know some plastic greenery and tinker toys tinker toys that's it and some little booties little vintage booties so let me show you the back way it's a wooden the truck is wooden hi kids it's really cute it the is. babies are watching they wanted to watch oh they're on <laughs> our grandkids are watching so david be good the truck is seven inches long and it's one of those little wooden box trucks very cute very cute but it's that little assemblage isn't he sweet so we're starting this off at $25. Anybody interested? We're thinking about doing some of these for Christmas. Me and Martha. I've been holding all my little tiny smalls to do this with. Tinker toys. But I just love when you don't know what to do with some of this stuff. Just and you got just, you know, missing pieces like this. Make an assemblage. I mean, they turn out so cute, and it's just a very cute conversation piece. To a vintage conversation. A vintage conversation piece. And the wheels do turn. So. The wheels on the truck go. Go round and round. Oh, that's okay, Susan. So if nobody's interested in this. <laughs> Martha said exactly. What? What's exactly? Susan, wait. If they don't sell, Susan, you can always uh, message Tammy or email her to see if they're still available after the sale. Yes. Because this one we're fixing to put aside. It's not like I'm going to throw it in the trash American. after the sale. <laughs> No, I did not do this one. I did not make this one. I did pick this one up from uh, a vendor friend of ours. So, but I am going to start doing them. I've been slowly collecting a bunch of smalls, and I mostly have smalls for Christmas items. But it was very cute. Okay, if nobody's interested in this, then we will move on. Well, stop the bidding. And go to the next one. Next item. How about the fire truck? Let's see. How about a, another brooch? Are y'all interested in the brooches? Wait, you're not in. I, I don't know if I have any brooch people in here today. So this one I think is really cute. It's an umbrella with the stones, the blue rhinestones. This is going to start at $14, Martha. We're gonna start this at $14, this brooch. And it is three and a half inches, about three and a half inches tall. Where'd my, where'd my mess up paper go? That I already... Um, oh, you handed it to me to write. You oh. said, here, write this down. You could have picked up So it. I wrote it down. No, it's use the one you handed me. But look, it's a little like metal and the, the baby blue stones. Of course, the stones make Look it. Look how you got that to focus so quickly. It's the paper. The trick is the paper behind it. It is a C-clamp um, latch on the back. That's not stones inside that, is it? It's just, no, I think it's just the way it dibbies. Oh, no. In here? Yeah, in this right here. Does that look like stones? No. I don't think so. But very cute. Show I the back, the, please. I love the baby blue in it. And, and it has the C clamp there. I did not find a label, a make on it. And I would think it would be on that flat part. But it's an umbrella, right? Do y'all see an umbrella? I got you, Katie. What 
you yelling about? She's saying singing in the rain, and I, for whatever reason, I, I went to Hemingway. Oh. <laughs> okay, is nobody interested in this one? I will put it aside and bring back another time. I think it's precious. I love this one. And I, I think the blue with the umbrella, like, <laughs> it's just... I don't have it clamped, and I think I just poked myself. I think that's cute. Katie's saying see. that ring is to hold your glasses, hang your glasses on. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. If she wore glasses. Okay. I do have a pair of glasses. Leanne C is at 14. Thank you, Leanne C. Let's see. I guess it could. How do you like my glasses? I love those. So, hmm. So you, so you won't lose them. Look at, look at her coming in here and teaching us some things. I didn't know that. I thought it was just decorative. And we got Leanne at 14. Y'all can see it better when I have the paper behind it. But can you tell how wide it is? Let's see. Because I did find a picture and they had it up like this, but I think that defeats this purpose, whatever, you know, the loop is for. And I think when the brooches, that's how you wear, isn't this how you wear the pin, however the angle of the brooch is? I mean, you could wear them slightly, you know, cockeyed, but that means it goes this way because the, the, the clamp is on the bottom. But very cute. Okay, y'all ready? We'll okay, proud American. What? We'll we'll just keep that in the chat. <laughs> so we'll start counting this down. Katie used to be a jeweler. Oh, she did. Katie was. <laughs> Martha, however you want it. Okay, I'm totally missing it. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, we're starting to count this down. We're going to start at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Debbie's 5, at 15. 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Where's the stop? And Leanne gets it for 16. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Debbie. And there's Debbie. <laughs> and Katie. Katie bits her. Okay. Oh, yes. Kate. Oh, I was wondering what that was. I didn't realize you were bidding too, Katie. Thanks, guys. Go ahead and take it off now. And Debbie missed it, but that much. Uh, and look, that much. okay, so Katie, you must be lagging because you just came in real late after that one. Katie, you need to refresh and make sure you're in live uh, live chat because your 19 came in real late. But we have Leanne for that one at 16. 16. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for bidding. Thank y'all very much. And Okay, let's see who's interested in this fancy thing. Martha, we're going to start this at 15. Look at this. Oh, my. Put that on me. Put it on you? Sure. Your hair ain't long enough to hold it. It's not? It'll pull. <laughs> No, your hair ain't long enough to pull it. Ow. it. <laughs> there. See. Fancy. Where's your boa? I need a boa. You need I a do. boa. 
I don't know how the ladies wore these. I mean, I'm like, I feel like it's going to tip over. <laughs> Isn't this cute? This little, little, it has a little clippy that holds it together. Katie, you're in your iPad? There is this should be a, firing fast. There is a bird on it. And all these feathers and some uh, sparkleness, sparkly glitter. So, does this look like it's been made or is this vintage? Uh, even if it was made, it was vintage. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that long tail off that bird. No, that you know what? If this was barely made, you know, you know darn well that would be cardboard. I mean, come on. Well, was that glue? I, I don't know. I don't know. But it looks old to me. I mean, all the items in here. This is a like a. a, a what's it I don't called? have room to do the can can. I wish I did. Do There's just no room to dance right here. What's this is all. This is all I got. This is it. <laughs> it's all I got right here. I can just move on top. It has a. a There's no can can room. What is it called? A blower, um flower. Um, Hmm. I don't. What's that fabric called? I don't know. I think but it, Michael's. Those fabric flowers. I'm not sure. It almost feels real. Look at the lines in it. it. Looks real. But it has a little peacock feather in here. Proud American says it could be a derby hat. A derby hat. And the, the little bird has little fuzzy feathers all around him. And look how long his tail goes down. Hmm. I'm holding it by the clippy. I don't even, I'm not even sure which would be the front where uh, the rose be, is, but his face is backwards. There's his face pointing that way. He's got your back. He got your back. He's the eyes behind your head. Mm -hmm. So we're starting that at 15. Yes. Okay. You got it. okay. So if, I know um, books not in here today. Apparently I think she was interested. She made comments on it in the, in the um, my haul video. Okay, so if nobody's interested in this, Katie says it's called a fa fascinator. A fascinator. I'm fascinated with it. I think we should have a um, 50s and then a 60s and then a 70s party luau kind of thing. Not luau, but you know, you know, Mad Men party. Oh yeah. Okay, now you're down for that. I'm down for that. <laughs> We need to have a virtual party since we all live in different places. It's the party, a, a party that um, Roger Sterling would like. Mm, a drinking party. We need to go from convalescence to Roman orgy in a matter of two hours. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> now we're going to do this virtual. I'm still waiting for, I guess we are having little mini meetups, but... We're going to have a mini meetup in Round Top, y'all. So anybody willing to come to meet us in Round Top for um, some shopping and get together, that will be fun. If you're interested, let me know because me and Martha will set that up. I guess it. SJ didn't see it on you. I think this clippy needs to go downwards. I don't know how my hair is. Is it too down? I need to go up more. I'm going to pull my hair out. Trying to get it just right. I feel like olive oil. <laughs> Woohoo! She never dresses up, y'all. I'm just. Can I'm, you see the feathers? Where I'm taken aback. She never dresses up like this. You oh, should, they're over here. You should wear birds on your head more often. There's a bird on it. Maybe like De Deborah Winger in Forget Paris where she's wearing the pigeon on her head. <laughs> yeah, I might be wearing it wrong. I need it to, con you know, curve more to my head because I think the feathers need to be going down the hair like that. Maybe so. So, yeah. I would, I'd love to use this for a dress up party. Very cute. Okay, so we're going to start counting it down. We've been on it long. Long enough. Where are we? 
we had, we got TRW at it at 15. So counting it down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sewed. Stop. Or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really cute. It's really neat. I was excited to find it. To have it for a little while and hold. So we have Tammy Renee Walker. Thank you, Tammy. Now I want you to take a picture when you get it on your head and post it. <laughs> And let's see what's what's Michelle Lee's in for round top. I see. So send me an email. We're going to do a mass email and get, start getting that ready because you know that comes up at the end of October. It's round top is one true week where every round top all the way to Warren, everything's open. It's like three different towns. Everything will be open for sure that one true week, but it does start um, a week or two prior for Warrington area, which honestly, in my opinion, is the better place. I will post a link in just a minute in the chat and y'all can copy it and bookmark it into your browser so you can explore. But it explore, is explore. And if you are traveling down, sorry, looking at the small towns around where you can uh, stay in hotels if you need it. We travel up there. It's, it's only three hours away from us. Not even. Two and a half, something maybe, like that. Maybe two. Warrington, yes. Warrington is the best place. I would love, love, love to, right there in Warrington, of the heart of Warrington, there is a indoors travel trailer um, hotel stay. They they have all these little mini vintage travel trailers in there and they they have them all dressed up really cute but you have to book that like now if if oh, not already, already it's, it might already be booked up but it's twice a year um for this long and they're starting to open up they started doing two more weekends just weekends not a long week and not everything's open so there's still only two weeks that are true um round top weekends or antique weeks it's called um, Antique Week, right? Antique Week? Antiques Week. Antiques Week. I just posted the link. So y'all check that out. Check it out later. For anybody yeah, <laughs> for anybody that's interested. Don't check it out right so now. So it'll be in there. You can always go back to it. All right, we have two more little bird um, brooches. Let me, and this is going to be for one money. Two for one. Two for one monies. Two for one monies. There are two birds. I don't know how, how it's supposed to go. Did my holding wrong? Um, iridescent. They're iridescent little birds. Because, you know, one's a mama bird and one's the um, baby bird. I'm trying to get them right. There we go. Where is so? I guess it's cheaper to fly to Dallas instead of Austin because in Austin you would only be maybe an hour and a half away. Because I'll plan out a whole thing and places to go and meet up after you know but we got a shop yeah i got a shop you know anyways so these two birds one is the larger one is uh, two inches two inches wide on his wingspan and the little baby bird is mm, just under an inch and a half christina said maybe i can go around canada and meet up with people at timmy's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I miss Timmy's. So these two, for the two of them, is $14, number 37. 
and they are iridescent kind of I don't know if they, I don't think there were any marks on them and they do have the C clamps as well I had some white ones like this I sewed a while back Oop, they were really cool my bird is flying away so fourteen dollars for the two number 37 Little round top poor Christina feels so lonely up there in the middle of Canada Katie where are you oh she's California Katie's in California I knew that I had to think for a second yeah I can't wait for uh Christina to be able to come to the state yeah, waiting at a Brimfield and round top that's close we're doing those kind of back to back yeah but round tops in our backyard man yeah so san diego mm, i want to go to san diego so anybody interested in this so i knew this looked familiar and it's <laughs> and it's thick i mean it's pom-poms she got my eye <laughs> and i knew it looked familiar like i've seen it somewhere before and i thought Man, this is kind of a thick piece for a table cover, you know, like for your end table or your coffee table. And then somebody reminded me in the in my in the chats of my haul video when I was showing it. And this is where I seen it. When she said it, it came back to me that they would make these into pillows, little throw pillows. This is um, 14 and 14 and a half inches wide. But look at the colors i just love those colors just like them owls or except this is orange orange and green but you could if you didn't use this as a table cover you use it you can uh, turn it into a pillow i'm not sure how you would do that though but i'm sure it's not that hard but it's super cool turn it into a halter top yeah yeah, that would work. No, no, it wouldn't. So this thing, this little pom pom '70s doodad tabletop cover, or um, or finish it into maybe a pillow, would be ten dollars, and it's number thirty. Ten dollars, number thirty. Does anybody out there like '70s? Y'all like '70s stuff? Are y'all still like bleh, over the colors? Cheese puff rug. I remember my, our kitchen having the avocado green refrigerator and stove. <laughs> I probably didn't like it then, but I like it now. I like the idea of the uh, the whole uh, mid century. I mean, not mid century, seventies thing. And I see Joanne for that. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Joanne, will you use it as a table cover or are you going to turn it into a pillow? Or what are you going to do with it? That would be if you do finish it out somehow or use it for display. I want to see. She's going to put. She's going to put fairy lamps on it. Oh, great. Katie, hope to come down. Yay. That would be so funny. You know how funny to be to meet all you YouTube people in person. Hello, Wisconsin. 70 colors are cool. See, I'm not the only one. Me and Martha aren't the only ones that love 70s stuff. Okay, I'm going to do, well, he has one offer up. But I'm going to do this one more offer up. See if anybody's interested in this. We're starting this at 30. She's putting it in a new booth for a mid-century display. Ooh. You need where, to post your mid century. Where is she? Joanne, where are you? I have to look. I forget. Because remember, Joanne, we're traveling up towards uh, Massachusetts. If you're along our route, I want to go see all your booths. We're starting this at um, 30. This is a Black Panther lamp base. Lamp planter base. Base. It needs. The price? hardware starting at 30. Starting at 30, Martha. He is so cool. Uh, Joanne, you're in North Carolina. We're going to stop and see you because that's on our way back. Woohoo! We're going to meet Joanne too. In all her booths. 
yeah we're going up and down and around and back down <laughs> so we're gonna start this is pretty cool I love this thing and I wanted David to fix it for me but all of a sudden he's afraid of electricity <laughs> wiring <laughs> it's not that I'm afraid I'm afraid for the people because I don't have to turn it on and off they do <laughs> <laughs> so yep. I'm bouncing you around. I'm trying to reach for my little plant so we can have. See, it's also a planter. Isn't this cool? Isn't it cool? Don't mind if I don't sell this, I'm going to have to uh, go find me somebody to fix it into a lamp and then we'd have to find the shade. But if not, you know, you can always put a succulent up there, a fake one, and just keep it as a planter. But very mid-century. I think he's cool. And here's the back. So it is. Let's see. 11T. 11T. 11T and a half inches wide. And just with the base it is nine inches Hi, Aaron. tall nine inches Aaron Proctor's in the house <laughs> hi Aaron so we're starting this at 30 if anybody's interested it has how many pockets three pockets for planners one here here and one back here in the back side and no no makes a model looks like it might have had a felt piece on it at one time and his look his goading is is worn off and so i guess in some spots right here i'm assuming there should have been lines going here and here did you it put your like, thing in there what thing did i miss this yeah oh you did i put it in okay so okay so nobody's interesting interested in the black panther if no one wants to have the panther party i may put it on etsy then go on etsy i'm making david start listing stuff for me on i'm etsy. a listing pool you know how many i got done yesterday how many one. You one i was gonna say what how many did you get done one okay but tomorrow look out <laughs> yeah so all right we're gonna put Put this aside if nobody's interested. And no one wants the panther. No one wants it. No one wants it. I've I've started collecting. I got three panthers. You know the long figurine panthers. And stop. Talk about whatever you want, Tim. We're what gonna let to David talk about this. So Joanne, what do you want to start this up? Martha, we're going to start this at, at 32. So Joanne is in North Carolina, and she says the mall is huge. We can spend the whole day with her. Mm. Yeah. Wait, where in North Carolina? I need to know cities. Mm -hmm. I have it written down. Black glass, y'all. Black glass. Hi, Stephanie. L.E. Smith. Hi, L.J. This is the... Right there. You sure? Yeah. This is a 7-inch trophy base with the Dancing Nymphs. I love it. I love it. I love it. But you can have it. I loves it. I loves it. So we have Nikki at 32. You know, I passed this up before and I was kicking myself for what, two weeks? I said, oh, I should have bought that base. I just loved it so much. And then I thought about it. I dreamt about it. <laughs> <laughs> and never, never to see, be seen again. And then I found it in canton texas 
Nikki's at 34. Black glass, Ellie Smith. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They make these in two sizes. This is a seven inch. I really thought he was going to keep it. She really thought I was going to keep it. You know yeah, because he kept talking about it and couldn't believe he didn't get it. And I thought, I thought that's something he wanted. This is, I just love it. This has, they made two models. This one with the. We have LJ at 40. This one has the, I guess, a, I guess the ruffled edge. They made one with a solid round, round top. Round top. Uh, <laughs> which was more art deco and believe me i'm looking for that one too but pretty pretty you can see the nymphs again hi mike hey my hey yvonne hi yvonne and of course the diamond base are those dancing ladies on it? Yeah. And why are they called nymphs? Don't he know. goes like nymphos. Nymphs. No, well, I was just trying. It's <laughs> not what I said. What I say that? Yeah, something like that. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is this is the black glass you always dreamed of. No chips. We have Mike at forty six. Zero scuffs. Not even a flea bite. This thing is pretty. I. I washed it twice. Once to drink out of it, and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you saw my Instagram, he's over there drinking out of it. I'm like, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Once to drink out of it, and then I washed it again for sanitary reasons. <laughs> I was like, I didn't think it was a mug. Thank you, Yvonne, for seeing our Texas faces. <laughs> but treat yourself to this nice trophy. It's beautiful. That's going to look great on your Globe or Nikki bookshelf. Don't you think? Oh, you're missing out, huh? <laughs> missing out. LJ's at 48. And we may have... Nikki's out. Nikki's out. Thank you, Nikki, for letting everyone know. Mike's at 49. Oh, I missed it. And... How does it feel and, to hold and, it up? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I can hold this up all day. This is gorgeous. <laughs> I got mommy arms. <laughs> yeah, mommy arms. This is nothing. Mm -hmm. I've held babies for longer. In the air, just like that? Babies. And in the LJ's air. Out. I'm going to talk like him anyway. Babies. In the air. <laughs> okay, we're going to start our countdown. LJ's out. Starting, uh, you're going to do your, do your NASA countdown. NASA countdown, 10. And Martha's going to type stop. 9, 8, type blast 7, <laughs> 6, 5, Well, there's four, Mr. L. Page. Where you been? 3, 2, 1. Let's see. Where is the stop? And stop. No, we got to wait for it to pop up. I know we're not lagging. No, we're not. That's how, we are kind of lagging because mm -hmm. that's how long it takes there we to come go. through. Oh, there, it goes. there you go. And so Mike gets it. We have Mike. Oh, let me scroll back up. Martha will put it back in. Mm -hmm. Mike at 49. Okay. 49. Yeah. Congrats, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, uh, all that was bidding on it. Where are we? There she is. It is gorgeous. You're going to love it. Yeah, I, you know, I don't sell stuff that often on here because I love it. <laughs> I, I love my stuff more than him. That's what I always say. Um, that's with all the stuff that I keep. Yeah, no, but I love it more than you. Okay. Oh, Enjoy it, Mike. So you want to do this one? I think I do have one more thing. Well, we have some latecomers, so we can do that one again. Oh, you didn't you didn't do this one yet, have you? Mm -hmm. We did? No, we didn't. No? No. Oh, okay. So I'm going to let David talk about this, too, because this is another one of his items. His you can bullet. hold that while I'm writing this down. It's, it's 
black or blue? It's when he a, was showing me, it looked blue for a second. This is a Francoma Bud Base bullet style from the 30s. It has the black glazing, the black glaze, but it's iridescent. In the right light, it shows blue. Got my fingerprints all over you it. You walk by and say, was that blue? Like, no, it's black. But your brain is telling you it's blue. It's because it's iridescent. It's eight inches tall. It's a beautiful finish. Art Deco design. And it's Style number 43 on the bottom. It is Francoma. I, I see um, fingerprints all I was going to start collecting some black, too, but I have all that gorgeous blue, the Weller, the Roseville. I just love the blue, and I didn't want to mix in the black. <laughs> see, David collects a lot like Tam Tam. <laughs> what is seven? So I didn't say a number yet. Oh, starting. What's seven, Mike? What's seventeen? <laughs> was was this an? Oh, I didn't know this was an offer up or what? I got it. I got it started here. Okay, sorry, Martha. You didn't. You didn't tell Martha. No, I thought I didn't. Sorry, Martha. She didn't tell you, but you can do the stop, Martha. So this is starting at 25. Okay. Since it doesn't bother you to hold it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> you talk about it. Yeah, I don't know anything about this. This is yeah. his collection. This stuff. is pretty, pretty, pretty. See, the Art Deco stuff in Art Nouveau, Tammy likes it, but she's not willing to pay a little bit for it. It's got to be like a dollar. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I love this. Martha, okay. get off my horse, Dave. <laughs> so, Mike, are you really starting out at 25? He's at 25. <laughs> what is the... Uh, oh, he doesn't have sound. So... Oh, oh. So, um, what's... What did... This what did is black. Read? Oh, what's it's the material? It's black with a blue iridescent it's like blue black blue i wouldn't say it's blue purple. black because it's mainly black it's a black blue not quite space age because it's this is from the 30s when he first showed me when we were in the other light do you have there, a regular light here it, let me it, um, let it, me get a flashlight you could see the you could see the um blue i saw blue before i saw purple this is no, this is my glowy light. <laughs> You're good. Hi, Helen. Spin it. Is that the blue I'm seeing? Yeah, you're seeing the blue come out. That's cool. So I guess it depends on what light you have it in. It's a black blue glaze. Deanna's asking is Francoma. Beautiful Francoma, huh? Is Francoma is Frank pottery? Homa, Francoma bud based pottery. Pretty, 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 pretty. I'm trying not to blind Tammy. <laughs> Yeah, you really say, oh, you got it brighter. You got it whiter. That's cool. Blinded by the Show the bottom, please. Number 43. Don't do it with the light. You can't see it that well when you do it with the light. There you go. Anyway. That's all it says. So we have um, Mike at 25, I think. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So we'll start doing a countdown for Mike. Hold this so I can do my finger since he can't hear. What are you doing? I was typing it for him. So we're starting to count down at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two one and stop
And when Martha puts in the stop, and stop. So it is Mike. Mike for $25. That was good. This is really pretty. Thank you, Mike. Okay, and I think that was everything. So I'm going to run through everything, you know, that didn't sell. This is our speedy round. Speedy round. What is this? There, that's yours. Ooh, <laughs> I have a lot that didn't. Steph says, hey, not many people can lay down one finger at a time like that. You're talented. <laughs> you should see her hold seven glasses at a time. <laughs> I was doing it for Mike because he said his volume was not on. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to run through um, the things that haven't sold. What was this? In our speedy round. Oh, I didn't do that one. Or this one. Ah, what were those at? What are those doing over there? I'm sorry. We didn't show this. We have this totem pole. This like six and a half inches tall of an eagle. I forgot this is part of the sale. I forgot to show those with these funny little faces, little totem pole guys from Japan. This is $12, number 21. He's got a bis fill to him, little ceramic pottery piece. see the back little eagle on the I guess that's supposed to be an eagle <laughs> I love those faces so oh, we have Mike for 21 yes, yes. thank you Mike don't worry uh, Martha's got you no you wrote this wrong oh and then and then I for, forgot this we have this cute little doll angel. And I did have, what was this called? I did save it. Um, what is this? So we have, let me see how tall she is. Stockinette. Stockinette. Angie the Angel. It's seven and a half inches this way. And she stands about four and a half inches tall this way. But she's kneeling down. She's a little angel. I guess she can be home too because she has a little dually there. Blonde hair with her bows. In her little white silky outfit. So this little angel girl. What was she called? She's a what? Stock. Stock. Stockinette Angie the Angel. Hmm. I don't know if I heard of them. But a little. Is she fabric? Yeah. Fabric face. So she is $18. Number 24. And I guess you would hang her. But. I think she's better sitting like that. But $18, number 24 for her. Okay. Now I'm going to run through real quick on the items that did not sell. This is our speed round. Speed round. Our crochet flowers. With the wire bendable. Bendable um, bottoms was $12, number 11, $12, number 11, the, the milk glass dish with a pencil, on, I can't even say it now, um, poinsettia, poinsettia. I was going to say poinsettia. You can say poinsettia. Poinsettia. That's the word I, I remember them saying. Little trinket dish. 
um, eight dollars number ten the Santa music box little bit Santa thirteen dollars number four Hold on, you're, we're lagging a little bit. Hold on, what? The little button, um, brooch pin, $12. Number 35. Put that back on. Then we had our our little owlsies. 70s owls for $20 number one for the pair mm, the hat sold did it I think the hat sold yeah so those are 20 Oh, oh to, to you. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tammy. That's really sweet of you. I love this community. We're such sweet people. <laughs> I put myself in that category. <laughs> and then the needlepoint kitty cat picture frame. It was 22 by seven, um, 17. The middle point frame matted, professionally done, and it has even blue in the wood uh, frame here to match it. It was $24, number 31. With the kitty cat needle point. Then the round round kitty cat pillow kitty cat kitty cat was twelve dollars number thirty two where'd the ink well go oh it's over here i don't want to drop it the porcelain inkwell, three Get pieces. Porcelain inkwell, it's twenty-four dollars, number forty, and it is three pieces. And if y'all want me to show y'all something closer and better than I'm doing in the speed round because y'all showed up late, just let me know and I will. Because this has three pieces to it. If you're interested to see it closer up and all then we have the lipstick the lipstick holder with the jewels in it oh wait I need to put write that number on here because it was a throw down so we're going to just do it at a flat price now was uh, thirteen dollars what was it I was doing that but it was okay oh. thirteen dollars number 27 it has little jewels on it so the lipstick holder then I love this inkwell 
then why are you getting rid of it? It's not getting rid of it. It's mm-hmm. passing it along to someone else who would appreciate it. In the, in the <laughs> mid-century uh, metal desk set was $12, number 22. Yes, you are, Miss Tammy. Aww. She said she's paying it forward. Someone did it to her last week, and she didn't even know them at the time. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. I, I like the terms of using the paying it forward. Hi, Nettie. Hey, Nettie. She has three. Um, the boho crochet basket. Crochet basket, book, magazine, needlepoint, whatever craft you want to use it for. I love the colors. Love the colors. The wood frame. $25, number 29. Very boho-ish. <laughs> boho Very boho. Very boho You can just say boho. <laughs> I love the colors. Uh, the silver uh, retro looking brooch. Where is my camera? It's right over there. It's yonder. It's yonder. <laughs> what did I say? This was two and a half inches long? Mm-hmm. Yeah, about two and a half inches long. Whatever. You could have pulled me at six inches. Mm. <laughs> Put that back. And then we had our white poodle dog. The little white doggy. He's only um, two inches tall. Tonight's sale is very lamp free. I didn't know what somebody hey, Julie? Asked about a fairy lamp? No. Oh, okay. I was just thinking of the light. I saw the lights and I was thinking and I did the club sound. We have the crystal salt and pepper shakers with the, um, what did I say, the engraved in the glass? Etching. Etching. Mm-hmm. Is, where's the camera? Why can't I put it in the screen right? Why can't you? For the pairs, $14, number 23. Beautiful. There's stars and stars and hose in the top. Then the Good night, Aaron. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Aaron. Hi, Terry. Hey, Terry. And then we had the Pixie. Oh, write that one on there. It was 25. It was an offer up, so we're just doing it at 25 for number 19. 19. It's a lidded pet pixie. Cigarette holder and ashtray was the original use. And remember, there was little nicks. There was a nick here and here. So, I'm trying to figure out how to hold him. There, well, we can see him. Okay. So, 25, number 19 for him. Throw it up there. Of SJ for the lipstick holder. This one. And like show it to her again. Clear cloud. It has um, three stones on each side. Jewels. See there. Am I covering one? Oh, there it is. What did I say? Is silver tone here, gold tone on the holders, and it's um, almost five inches long. The length here is almost five inches. And it was thirteen for twenty-seven. Julie, we've never been to Illinois at all. 
where Raggy Gideon was first introduced. And somebody said he was really, um, oh, is it now noise? Hmm. I might have to go take a picture in front of that sign if it's on our way. <laughs> no, Illinois is out of our way. We oh. have to go further west. Oh, okay. Then we had the boho plastic tray, 17 inches around. Again, love the colors. $13, number 13. Now, I usually see these with those big flowers on it. One single big flower. Those, those I want for my kitchen. Then we had the little brown and white doggy playing with the ball. Little brown and white doggy was eight dollars. Oh, number eight. Oh, did it again, Dave. I did it again. You did those both in a row. <laughs> Thirteen and eight was the same. Same way again. Both. Both. In and a row. Where's your? Oh, right here. The trench art bullet holder. Mike missed this. Mike missed that. Mm -hmm. Is twenty four dollars number thirty nine. Trench art with a hammered finish. Pretty 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 cool. You know that will like just to offset what? the metal that those those crystal the crystal flowers. Oh. Like that heavy crystal. That would look cool. And then we had the the assemblage fire truck. Bye, Christina. You're running. Save all your energy. She's going to Timmy's. She's got to go to Timmy's <laughs> on the lake. Oh, put twenty. Put the price on that one. This was an offer up, so I'm putting it at a set price now. Twenty five dollars. Number eighteen. I want to looky looky. It's blurry. I want, wanted a looky looky. Oh, we're blurry. Why? Oh. Well, Get close. Why did that just start? I don't know. Why are we starting to get blurry? Is it clear enough? It looks like it's clear right there. So it's all these pieces in here, the little flowers, the little assemblage. It's a wood fire truck. $25, number 18. Yes, he's super cute. It has a little, um, I think this was a, a, a kite thing, one of those vintage kite with a vintage block, the vintage toy pieces so and then there's that okay we're clear now the two bird bird brooch the two birds okay behind here Baby bird and mama bird, fourteen dollars, number thirty-seven. And we had the black panther. If any black panther planner, that should be also a lamp. If anybody wanted to put it together and make it back into the the uh, lamp. If you want it, I'll send a lamp kit with it. It's $30, yeah, $30, number 33, $30, number 33. This thing's heavy. Is it? Let me hold it. It was an offer up, so we started it at 30, so it'd be $30, number 33. Okay. And then the angel doll was the last one. Where are you, little angel doll? Little angel doll. 33. Christy Shin. $18 for the little angel doll. 
number 24. Thank you, Christy. And I think that was it. That was all of it. So if you're interested in anything, let me know. Le Leanne says she'll take a lipstick holder. Yeah. The lipstick holder? The inkwell? Or the inkwell? Okay. Leanne will take the lipstick holder if it doesn't want it. Oh, SJ? SJ's doing the ink wheel. Okay, SJ. Yeah, I didn't have anybody for the um, lipstick holder, so she was interested, but then she passed. Yeah, she on. said pass. Yeah. But now um, Leanne wants it. Well, thank you, Leanne. But and give me number forty. So. And that was everything. Thank you, y'all. SJ for the ink wall. Very tricky. Yep. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you all for coming. Um, hey, be sure to join us to uh, Friday night. For our Vintage After Dark. I don't know who uh, for sure is coming on yet. For Vintage After Dark. But tomorrow we have. Um, Jody is having a foursome on her uh, channel tomorrow. And I forget who all with. Share finds. Um, Jenna. 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 Um, who was it? Jenna. Jenna Beans. What was her name? Jenna something. And. <laughs> I'm trying to think off the top of my head and somebody else was going to be there. There's four of them. And then Martha is, uh, and she's like at um, seven. I think that's Eastern time, seven Eastern, six central, maybe don't hold me to it. She's just on tomorrow evening. And Martha is on tomorrow night with a vintage conversation. Uh, we'll be on tomorrow at nine Eastern and 10. No, I'm sorry. 9 Central, 10 Eastern. You know what, Martha, just put it in. <laughs> put that in. Oh, Black Dog Vintage. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Sorry, Nikki. <laughs> How do I forget you, right? Uh, Nikki, they're going to be on um, Black Dog Vintage with uh, Janine and Cher Fines are going to be on Jody's channel tomorrow. And Martha is at 9 Central, 10 Eastern. Oh, with uh, Lilacs. Lilac. Lilac Vintage. Is that, that's Christina, right? Thank you, Jeannie. Thanks for coming. Oh, Steph. <laughs> Steph, did you, <laughs> how late did you stay on that, Steph? You know, you know, I can't remember from one minute to the next. Steph, how long were you in there with the... Uh, with the vintage after dark thank you julie thank you so much and thank you chicago lady she said too late you're not gonna say it? okay 4 a.m 3 a.m <laughs> 5 a.m oh you see that try to visit yeah i'm if if Our we're so, yeah Ooh, like I need more, but you know, when I see Raggedy Ann and Andy out in the wild, I, I have a hard time passing it up. I try, I try not to get it like the, that one place we went to, um, outside of Canyon Lake. It was a nice, we were there three or four hours at this one, um, antique mall and they had a beautiful, beautiful quilt, you know, of Raggedy Ann and Andy. And it was kind of pricey for me, so I didn't get it, but it was in a nice place. And, you know, I said, if I, thought, if I kept thinking about it, then I could always go back and get it. I don't have a bed to put it on anyways until I get a guest room again. 
and then that all my if I made a guest room and turn all my raggedy Ann and Andy stuff in there, <laughs> it would freak out my guests. You think? Yeah, uh, yeah, because I used to have an all white room uh, guest room and like uh, a chippy paint white. But it was all white. Everything in there was white. My one of my boys thought a white mantle, white bed, white sheets, white walls, white pillows. He thought white it was curtains, in a what did he call it? A, a, a white a, frames and a, a an asylum. Yeah, some kind. <laughs> I guess he's been in one. <laughs> like an all white padded room or something. I said I need to put pads on the walls. Hey, Warren. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. So we have 32 people. I mean, 20, no, 24 people in here. Y'all all say hi. I know that a lot of y'all are lurking. Hi, Stephanie. Say hello. Warren By the hello. seashore. Where is Stephanie at by the seashore? Where are you, Steph? There are some stuff that was left over. If you're interested, just go back and watch that in part of the video where we did our speed round so we're already going to have one nice little visit on our way back from visiting with scott and friends and d d and vintage yes. vinnie and vintage Vinny. those are the three we're so meeting we'll up see, with over the weekend we'll meet uh hi sylvia it's sandra jane my sister oh <laughs> warren and we're going to meet up with joanne Hi, Warren. Patina, Patina been here Have you been here all this time, Warren? I'm just now seeing you. Do you like trench art, Warren? <laughs> Watching the Goating Girls. Thank you very much, Martha. Bye, Martha. Thank you. So, yeah, this was a good sell. I'm always happy to see y'all here. And be sure to come back and see us on Friday. Thank you, Nettie. Yeah, y'all going to be hearing about our trip up until we go. Who's on after us? Because we're so excited about going. Oh, uh, Warren is late. Warren's late. Just got here. Well, as always. Go ahead. Bye, y'all. Stephanie says bye. Stephanie, what seashore are you by? Friday. Oh, she's coming back Friday night. Um, Brimfield is um. Ooh, is that what you're putting in? No, I was just putting in. If there's when's, something in the video, when's Brimfield? Um, Joanne's asking. Brimfield is the week. It starts the. Wednesday, I'm oh, sorry, it starts uh, the, I think the Tuesday or Wednesday after seven. Labor Day. So 7th, 8th, 7th, 8th of September. And it's a four day weekend or something. Is that, it lasts for? I want to say it's five days. Oh, San Diego. Yeah, you have a nice seashore. <laughs> So yeah, they, who's joining on Friday? Um, I don't know yet. Uh, Christina is going to tell me. It's a surprise for you too. Well, she, it's um, one or two people. I mean, one of uh, two people that she was going to ask, and I don't know which one she asked. <laughs> Joanne, cool, cool beans. beans. <laughs> cool beans. I'm excited to see your mall. So, well, again, y'all. We'll let y'all go. And if you did come late, just watch the ending of our speed round. I should put up a sign. Speed round. Start here. Joanne, <laughs> Tammy will send you um, some contact information so we can just send you a text. And we can get the address to your shop. And I'm hoping to stop by Misty's. It's going to be after her big um, meet up. Meet up. Her uh, so. pop-up shop. that she, She's calling it a pop-up shop. I, I won't be able to make it that Saturday and Sunday because that's my grandmother's reunion and we don't miss that. Um, so we'll be uh, heading up there on Sunday 
heading that way. So hopefully I'm supposed to meet up with her on Monday. So I'm going to miss all the people that are going to be showing up Saturday and Sunday. Bye, Lisa. And goofy Dave. So, um, hey, Jim Runciman, we got a date September the 4th, if y'all can make it. Just kidding. That was just kidding. Their borders are closed. What are you talking about? <laughs> when are they going to open the Canada borders? When people, when the people in the U.S. will behave. Oh, it's the U.S.'s fault now. Yes. You just, you just working on Jim's uh, side. Of course, I'm working on Jim's side. <laughs> I want Jim to like me. Where? Oh, you're talking. That was you talking. Yes, Jim. Um, okay, Lauren guys. Said to come visit him, and I'm trying to find out. Oh, time. where? Oh, South Texas. West Laco. I haven't heard of West Laco. I've heard of it. West Laco. I mean, we're heading up to West Texas. I don't know how much time I we're gonna have. Are you on our way? Oh, he's in, he's right there on the border. Oh, you're down. The closest we got to you was Kingsville most recently. I don't know why I thought it said West Texas. It says South Texas. South Texas. Okay. And how far is that? Oh, Corpus Christi. Okay, I see. Hmm. I can't get that close to the border. <laughs> they might keep me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. We're going to let y'all go. Thanks for coming. Thanks for shopping with Thank us. Thank you, Sylvia. We try to have fun. Thanks for being our friends. No, no. I, I, I know where it's at, Warren. Mm -hmm. I know. You're right, right there, like almost at the tip I mean you're right east of McAllen just like a few miles probably throw a football from McAllen to West Lake <laughs> that's a long drive come on Warren I know you you've driven Texas that's a long drive for us <laughs> but maybe next right time everywhere. next time we're in Corpus maybe we can meet up yeah, make you meet us. That's a day. Away. That's a quick day trip from Corpus, so maybe we can do that. Corpus or, is like four hours or, from us. Shoot, South Padre. That's even further. No, it's further down. But if we're there, might as well meet them. <laughs> okay. All right. This time we're really gonna go. We're really gonna go. Thank all of you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Say bye now. Bye now. <laughs> bye, y'all. We'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Thanks.